Hi guys, this is Sam from Fluid Social and today I want to talk to you about the time you are investing in approaching women. <clears throat> so this is a topic that has been very close to me for a long time because I felt myself how much of an impact this has on the quality of your relationships, on the quality of your communication skills and your broader social life as well. So it's very easy when you start the process of cold approaching women in the day. And for those that don't know what cold approach is, what I mean by that is going up to an individual that you have no previous experience with or history with and trying to form some sort of personal relationship with them. And so most of the guys, certainly myself, and a lot of the clients that I take on now, they look at this as a pastime. They look at it as a hobby. And a lot of the questions I get are things like, Sam, how many hours a week should I spend approaching women? And for me, I used to ask this question to myself. And I would say that I used to spend about 20 hours a week in the day and the night going up and approaching women, documenting it, thinking about it um, in exactly the same way as a, as a sports person would think about their particular sport or a hobbyist would think about their hobby. And the more time I've spent working in this industry and, and working with individuals, the more I'm reminded that this is not a hobby at all. And when it's done at its, in its truest form, this is a lifestyle and it should be treated much more like eating, sleeping and breathing and much less like golf, cricket and swimming. Golf, kick, cricket and swimming are very much things you do with your time. This should be something that happens through you. By happens through you, I mean you should be going about your day doing whatever it is you want to do. Whether it's a museum that you want to visit or a cafe that you want to go and read in, that is how you should be considering this. And let me explain why. When we look at this as a hobby, we think of it as a linear skill set that we can modularly improve on. So it's something that we can incrementally get better and better at, just like you do when you're practicing your golf swing or, uh, or any of these other sports or hobbies that you do. But the truth of the matter is this is so much more emotional than any sport or hobby um, can compete with. This is something that your own internal mood, the mood of the other individual, your energy levels, your testosterone levels, all of these influences are gonna have a major impact on the way you, uh, the way you are coming across in person in the moment. So I'm gonna to propose to you that all you need in order to improve and continue to become a more socially free and confident person is acute awareness. And by acute awareness, I mean whatever you're doing in your day, are you aware of the people around you, of the buildings around you, of the sound in the background, the things that are actually happening in your environment? So the longer that I teach this to guys, the longer that I teach them how to build relationships, how to meet women and how to form attraction, the more I see that when they are in a state of absolute non-expectancy, when we are in a museum and we're looking at um, the, the paintings or the, the features there, that's when the innovation, the creativity and the sense of being in the moment will come to you. And then if you're also aware of the people around you and you see someone, you're going to have something to bring to them. Maybe you're going to comment on something funny you noticed in the picture and just say it to them and see how they respond. And this is gonna be much more effective because that person will see that you're enjoying yourself, that you're in the moment and you just wanna share some thoughts with them. Exactly the same. If you go to a cafe and you say, right, I'm gonna spend two hours of my day in this cafe reading my book. It's a book that I haven't really had the opportunity to read, 
but I've wanted to read it for a while, okay? The key here is to find a cafe where there's a high level of foot traffic and the foot traffic is generally the sorts of people that you would want to be approaching. So for me, that is um, a cafe called Joe and the Juice in London. And Joe and the Juice is a place where it sort of feels a little bit like a bar. There's some music playing, there's a lot of young, generally attractive, interesting people working there or catching up with friends. And I will sit in a position where I can see everyone walking past. And every time I look up from my book for a second, I just glance around, make some eye contact with the people walking past. And from a very present state, if I see someone I like, I will simply walk up to them with my full awareness and just a curiosity to learn something about them. Now, if we contrast this, just an in the moment, with no expectation going and talking to someone versus a feeling that I am doing something. You know, I'm going out to approach. When I'm in this mindset, I'm giving myself these lofty expectations. I'm saying, you're going to go and have to approach. Uh, what line are you gonna say? Um, how's it gonna go? Are you gonna do well or badly? And there's this sense of personal judgment that comes into it which is totally detached from the sense of raw curiosity that you feel when you are doing another activity like visiting that cafe or that museum. So all of my private clients will know from working with me that when we go out, our sessions are very much activity based. So I take them out to show them an area that I think they'll like or to take them to a cafe that I personally feel is, is a great environment to be in and we'll talk about their life, their lifestyle, the things they're enjoying, the things they're passionate about, and we'll have a look around, we'll see a beautiful girl, and I'll say, well, she looks very nice, go and tell her. Go and express your curiosity in her. And from that perspective, the interaction takes on a much more authentic and natural feeling. The opposite of this, um, and it's something I I've been talking to my clients a lot about, is the much more robotic and clinical sense that the interaction takes when you've gone out to approach, when you're investing your time in the hobby of approaching women. From this perspective, we get wrapped up in the details. We get wrapped up in what it is we're gonna say, how we're going to get her number, before we even have a sense of who she is, and before we've had a chance to really connect with her and figure out whether she's actually the kind of girl that we want to go on and date or whether she's attracted to us. So what I'm proposing in this video is that you spend zero hours of your week approaching. And instead, you spend a few hours of your week going and doing the things that if you had more time, you would want to go and do. And I propose that in this way, if you keep your awareness with you and you, you pay attention to the indicators of interest that you're going to be receiving from women to the energy levels of your social environment that you're going to find your interactions are far more natural you're going to have a present time awareness of how the girl is feeling and you're generally going to start to enjoy this a whole lot more which is going to be the key ingredient to your fast success here so if you do want to come and experience this in person and see how tremendous the difference is when you view this as something incidental that happens when you're visiting a cafe, a museum or another area, then please do get in contact with me. Just if you have any questions about this or any more elaboration is needed, contact me and I will explain this all to you in more detail. So I hope you guys can start to pay more attention to your environments. You can start to spend more time doing the things you really want to do and these opportunities will come to you. So I hope you got something out of this. I'll see you all in the next video. And that is Sam signing out from Spitzfields Market near Liverpool Street Station, London. See you in the next video. Peace.